Hi everyone, this is John. Uh, I'm in Old Town Tustin. I just wanted to make a quick video uh, trying out this camera that I just got. It's a, an Agfa Isolet 3. Um, it's a medium format camera in 6x6 where the, the lens pops out. Um, the reason I got this camera is um, I'm going on a trip pretty soon where um, I'm not going to get too detailed, but it's going to be a lot of uh, run and gun shooting. Um, or I foresee it being like, like that. I wanted to bring my Hasselblad with me along with my digital camera, but I was wondering if, you know, with weight and bag space and all that kind of stuff, if it was uh, going to be more in the way or too heavy after a while. So I found this little guy. It's, um, it fits in a pocket, doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, supposedly the lens is pretty good. So I'm doing my first roll with today. So I'm in Old Town Tustin, just going to walk around. Um, I watched a couple tutorials on this and it opened my eyes a little bit to how to use it so um, I'll follow along real quick okay so i got some film loaded up it's uh, kodak ektar 100 so iso 100. Um, this, so again it's my first time using this camera um, the shutter speeds they range from uh, the, the fastest it can go is 300th of a second 150 25 all the way down to bulb. Sure, it's uh, the fastest it goes is 4.5, and the smallest it goes is 32. Um, it's all manual controls. Um, the focusing is interesting. Um, I've never really used a range cam range finder camera before. Uh, when you look through the viewfinder, um, there's a focus re uh, wheel where two images come become aligned, and that's when it's in focus. And I assumed this was a coupled rangefinder, meaning when you see it, the images converge, that means the camera's in focus. But all it is is a guide. So when you align the images, there's a little wheel uh, that has a corresponding number. And then on the lens, you put it to that number and you're supposedly in focus. So that's my first time again. Uh, so. I, there's this old store here that's, I don't know what it was back in the day. It has this cool uh, pink sign of some sort. So I'm going to meter. I have a uh, spot meter app on my phone where it's set to ISO 100. Right now it's at F16 saying uh, 400 of a second on the white brighter spot of the building. So this camera can't go to 400. So I'm going to have to stop down to, let's see, where's the aperture? I can go to uh, 22, so that's pretty, that's pretty narrow, at 1 60th of a second. So if I go to shutter speed 100, then I'm going to compose. Actually, I'm going to get closer. So this uh, lens, the focal length, um, it's um, an 85 according to this, which means in 35 millimeter equivalent, it's uh, I think it's about 50, 60 millimeter somewhere in there. So, so let's give that a shot. Now I'm a little closer. Again, I'll. Check the focus. It's hard to tell exactly. All right, so it's at zone 30 on the dial. So I put it to about 30. I'm at, make sure I put the aperture correctly, F22 which again is pretty small. Now I'm not really entirely sure if it's pointing to 22 or 16, but I'm somewhere in there. Shutter speed 100. You gotta cock the shutter. And then. And then you wind the film to the next frame manually. And that's it. So 
So next I want to try this, the close-up capabilities. Um, there's these leaves. They're blowing around a lot, so um, I'll do my best. But um, so the fastest shutter speed is 300. This is pretty bright and I want to compensate for the wind if I can. So I'm going to meter at, um, let's see. So the fastest this lens can go is 4.5. Um, so at 6.3, let's see. There is no 6.3 on this. It goes 5.6 or F8. So I can put it in between, Ooh, there's a B. All right, so shutter speed, oh, stay away from me, B. Let it do its thing. Shutter speed, the hundredth. Is that what it said? I got distracted by the B. So at 6.3, yeah, thereabouts, so 100 shutter speed. Shutter's cocked, I gotta check focus. One shot left. Um, the lighting is really harsh right now, so it's uh, not the best time to be trying out this uh, oddball camera. Or maybe it is to see uh, what I can do with it in terms of uh, unideal, non ideal moments. So uh, just around in this corner, there's this uh, food truck or van of sorts. Let's let, let's let that be. Or maybe it'll be in our photo. There's also some cool buildings behind it. Um, some place called Morning Lavender. That sounds quaint. Let's see. Um, there's also a place called Kelly's Corner. There's this cool barn building behind it, but it's fenced off to where I can't really get a good view. Just to give you an idea. Doesn't really get the creative juices uh, going, yes. Because it's the last shot. But I'm trying to get this film to a one hour developer so I can see this film fast. So I can't get too picky. But dang it, I'm, I'm feeling pretty picky. So I said I wasn't gonna talk about my trip, but uh, what the heck. Um, I'm doing a cross-country Amtrak trip to, I won't say the destination finally, but it's on the East Coast. Um, and the idea is I wanted to photograph different stops along the way. Some places I'll have um, a day or two, um, some places I'll have five minutes. Hence the five minute part. I wanted to be able to get off quickly, get a shot, get back on the train. Because if I miss the train, well, that's not good. So the idea with the Hasselblad was to uh, capture using the Hasselblad because I just thought it'd be fun. But um, I thought it might be cumbersome um, being on a train and hopping on and off and all that kind of stuff. I'm needing a tripod because I'm not sure of the lighting conditions. All that good stuff. So with this, I thought it would uh, free me up having, from having to use a tripod. Um, but I'm yet to be decided because I haven't seen the film yet. Here's the last photo. So that's the mental gymnastics I'm going through is which camera to bring besides a digital. 
because the digital just seems right. So I'm going to end with this uh, statue or bust of Mr. Tustin. I never knew his first name was Columbus. So I'm going to meter for the bright spot on the, on the face. F11, it bounces between, at F11 it bounces between uh, 160 and 200, so I'm going to put it to F16 and have it at 100. Alright, so here we go. Focus, check. It's saying at 6 feet. Six feet and gotta make sure the lens is ready. And that's it. I'm noticing when I push the, the shutter release, I tilt a little bit like on, so I don't know what that's gonna do, but uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little video i'm excited to see how these turn out and i'll see you on the train with the verdict of which uh, camera i used i'll see you then bye